Here are the steps to connect your Ledger device to the core browser extension and bridge from the Bitcoin network to the Avalanche seed chain. First, connect your Ledger to Ledger Live. Once you've connected your device, enter the pin to unlock it. And once it's unlocked, it will sync in Ledger Live. Once your device is synced, make sure that you have the Bitcoin app and the Avalanche app installed on your Ledger device. Make sure that your firmware is up to date as well and then you can close the Ledger Live app. Once you've downloaded the Core Browser extension from the Google Chrome Store, you can access an existing wallet using your Ledger device. So go ahead and open up the Avalanche app on your device. Once you've opened that, hover over Access Existing Wallet and select Ledger. From the drop-down menu for the derivation path, select Ledger Live. This will open up three different actions that you need to approve on your Ledger device for three different derived addresses. Follow the steps on your device and then you can click next. Continue following the steps to connect your Ledger device to the core extension. Click I agree to the terms of use and acknowledge the privacy policy and click save. You've now connected your Ledger device. You can open the core extension. You can set it as your default wallet and it will provide you a brief overview of the tokens that you have on the networks that are supported. You'll notice here that I already have some AVAX that's in my wallet, as well as some bridged Bitcoin, which is denominated BTCB. But I'd like to move this remaining Bitcoin over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Bitcoin. If you haven't sent any Bitcoin to this address, you'll need to send it there before you can bridge it over to the Avalanche seed chain. When you're on the Bitcoin network and it's active, you can copy the address up here and send the Bitcoin over. Since I've already done that, I'm going to start the bridge process. Click the plus icon and select bridge. For this example, I'm going to bridge the max amount. You can review the details here and then click transfer. This will say the wrong app is open, so please switch to the Bitcoin app. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This will ask me to approve the transaction on my ledger, so follow those steps. And click accept. Then you'll need to confirm it. And once you've done that, it will initiate the bridge transaction and you can bridge your BTC from the Bitcoin network with your Ledger device connected to the Avalanche C chain to begin using it. If you'd like to bridge Bitcoin from the Avalanche C chain back to the Bitcoin network, click the plus icon, select bridge. You can choose the max amount or whatever amount you'd like on the C chain and then click transfer. This will open a prompt on your Ledger. Follow the steps and hit Next, to go through and see the gas fee as well as numerous other details. And then you can finalize the transaction and click accept. This will initiate the bridge transfer from the Avalanche network back to the Bitcoin network within your Ledger device. If you'd like to check your activity feed to see the transaction while you're waiting, navigate back to activity where you can see the bridging transactions and you click to view them on the Explorer. For any additional questions on how to bridge Bitcoin using your Ledger device in the core extension, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to assist you.